Good afternoon, everyone. Um, Emma here from 24 Fingers. Today I'm with Michelle Parsons. Hi. Michelle is one of the featured artists on the Brentwood Art Trail, and she's going to be telling us what inspires her. So, Michelle, what's your favourite word? Lobsters. Definitely lobsters. It's kind of been my thing for the last five, six years. Okay. Painting lobsters. Yeah. I like it. Quite tasty as well. <laughs> Very much so. And what gets you up in the morning? Strong black coffee. My husband gets up at 6.30 and brings cafetiera coffee to bed. And I can't nice get up coffee. Yeah, I need coffee. I used to be like that with Diet Coke, but no more. Oh, no more. more. <laughs> Tell us, what do you truly honestly think of social media? Um, I'm scared of it. I'm terrified of it. Um, I don't like to uh, use it on a personal level too much because I think who wants to hear about what I'm doing? Yeah. Um, but I know it's important for my business and I, I do use it and I try and use it a lot. And I put little videos up of me painting, nice. easel and canvas. I'm on Instagram and Facebook, but um, Go follow. terrifies me. Yeah, so it terrifies we me. We can hold your hand. To <laughs> Kindles or books? Oh, neither. Audible. Ah. I love ah. Audible. I paint at Audible. I'm in a book club, in Gateshead ah. Book Club. Interesting. Brilliant. And um, yeah, I love I love uh, listening to books whilst painting. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think is the biggest challenge to your industry right now? Um, I don't think they're taken, arts are taken very seriously in schools. Mm -hmm. I've been an art teacher for nearly 30 years. I don't teach it anymore, really, not very much. And um, schools, it's very, very hard yeah. to, to get parents to realise the importance of art, yeah. to get kids to do A-level and GCSE art. Even when you've got kids that love art, yeah. the parents go, oh, yeah, there's no career in it. And yeah. There's as many career in art as there are in any, any other business. And art is so important. The arts, you know, music, drama, art, so important for kids' confidence. Definitely. It's... it's it's brilliant. Every child should do art, music or drama, I think, up to at least 16. I was talking to one of my friends who said exactly that, that it was deemed as not a career option, something that she did as a hobby. Absolutely. Not something to um, venture in professionally, but she's now a teacher at an art school. And brilliant. they're very talented, Sally. There's, there's a lot of career te <laughs> uh, careers teachers out there who, who, you know, don't do art, do it as a hobby, do it, do it in an after-school club, but don't do it. And art is, is brilliant, everybody, you know, yeah, yeah. It, it gives kids confidence to be what they want to be. So, you've left me very nicely on, what did you want to be when you were growing up? Mm, could only ever do art, really. <laughs> I mean, from a, my, my dad was a photographer and he, I was always encouraged to do art, to do what I wanted to do. Yeah. And I used to sit and copy cartoons and um, art was the only thing really that got me going, was art. I loved it. Um, and when I, we went to live in America when I was 16. Yeah couple of years and again it was art that made me stand out yeah so art I've always wanted to do art yeah interesting didn't know what but art yeah, yeah. and what led yeah. you to your current career um well I've been an art teacher for many many years got a fine art degree um and um gradually the paintings took over I got asked to do a restaurant then I got asked to do commissions for private clients interior designers and very slowly over the last eight nine years I've kind of left the teaching behind and now I'm just full time Excellent. artist, which I, which I love. It's great. Good. I really love it. Now, your favourite word was lobster. Can yeah. you use it in a sentence? Oh, um, um, I love the texture, the colour, the shapes that are within a lobster. Okay. And now, can you make it rhyme? No, not really. Lobster. <laughs> there only rhymes with mobster. <laughs> That's okay. So, or imposter. Imposter. So a prawn is the imposter of a lobster. <laughs> and a crayfish is a mobster. <laughs> Shouldn't have crayfish. I think you need to do a painting of yeah. that. Um, I love crayfish paintings, don't say. Oh, really? Isn't that funny? Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. There you go. Heard it here first. And <laughs> um, what advice would you give to your younger self? I'd say don't listen to other people and do what you want to do. My daddy's brilliant, but he's bonking mad. Start raving mad. And he's never listened to anyone. I've got one like that. And um, I think <laughs> madness is good. I think you should just be yourself and don't worry what other people think of you. Agreed. Just just be headstrong and just go for it. Just do but it. it's quite hard when you're young. You listen to people too much. Yeah, you influence that. Yeah, yeah, way too much. And what's the best thing anyone's ever done for you? Um, husband bringing me tea in bed every single morning for the last 30 years. That's quite good. Oh, he supports you me. Change. You know, and, and I, I when I gave up the teaching, he, he was like, yeah, go for it. You know. That's lovely. Yeah, he keeps me grounded. It's very normal. <laughs> and so what's been your career defining moment? You might have um, had it, yeah? Oh, I don't know. Um, I asked to do a load of restaurants for a load of paintings for a restaurant. That was brilliant. Yeah. And that got my art out there and gave me a load of confidence. You know, the fact that I was being commissioned to do yeah. an entire restaurant. And it was commercially viable. Yeah, that yeah, exactly. That that had a massive 
in Patterson. Then I was on Grand Designs a couple of years ago. Mm, got a film star in the house. Not really. <laughs> but all of a sudden, I'm selling giant lobsters, three metre lobsters, to America and Australia, and, and I still am. And um, and that kind of gave me the confidence to think, oh, hang on a minute, what I'm painting is is selling. And yeah. I can make a There's no time this. for it. Yeah, and it, it gave me a lot of confidence. It really did give me a lot of confidence. Yeah. And if you won the big award of some kind, who would you thank? I love my kids. My daughters keep me grounded. They tell me right from wrong. So when I look a mess, they go, Mum, you look a mess. When I say <laughs> something stupid, that too. <laughs> they go, Mum, what are you doing? So, yeah, Mom, and I always show too. my kids my art. Every day I send them a little message. Oh, and I show nice. them what I'm painting, and they go, oh, I like that. Or, it's working oh, don't like that. Yeah, they're really cool. Nice. So my kids keep me grounded. It's a nice barometer. Yeah, awesome. yeah, they're very normal, my children. They're very sane, yeah, which is great in the mad world of art. And can you give us a time saver of the day? Oh, I don't know. What is a time saver? I don't know. I don't like know. Get up an hour early, check your emails, or don't I'm really rubbish at that. I think now I work from home, I work for myself as an artist. I'm really crap at time saving. So what I do now is I wait for my husband to go to work, and then I get up, and then I stop when he comes home, or I waste an hour. I've learned to waste time. Yeah. And I think wasting time is brilliant. I'm 51, and I love time. being able to waste an hour and not feeling guilty doing it. Because the younger me would never waste time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, how can I not jam sure. everything into 24 hours? But now I'm like, you know what? I can have an hour and do nothing. And so it's taken me years and years to learn to, to waste time. And you're probably more creative for that. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You need to take time off to sort of look at the bigger picture. So, yeah. Nice works. yeah. Where do you see your industry in 24 months? More lobsters? Uh, yeah, more lobsters. But also I think I need to kind of just go with the flow more and um, I like doing different things variety is good so I do some tuition I, I teach adults and I do a little bit of school teaching and um, I, I work for the exam board as well moderating okay. level art which I think is important yeah. so I think more variety I think variety is good and lots more traveling life. yeah there's loads of places I haven't been to yeah where were you 24 months ago I was doing what I'm doing but more manically trying to squeeze 26 hours into a 24 hour day yeah. Now I do one thing at a time, one painting at a time. Nice. Let one dry, do another one. Mm -hmm. And I take time and I think about things. And I'm a lot less um, frantic, kind of frantic. Yeah, a lot less frantic. And also I've worked out I'm never going to win the Turner Prize. But I am going to earn a living as an artist, yeah. and that's cool. And if I can keep doing that, that's brilliant. So I want to keep doing what I'm doing, but just keep the head sane, you know. Same a bit more exercise would be good, I think. Yeah. yeah. A bit of yoga while I paint. Okay, I'll uh, share my uh, local yoga. Love yoga. Single woman. I'm really rubbish at it. But yeah, it's I good. Too. Um, tell us an interesting fact about you. Oh, oh gosh. Um, interesting fact about me. I've got no idea what's an interesting fact about me. I live in a cool Grand Designs house and I have a great husband and... I'm quite boring, really. I just spend all day <laughs> painting lobsters. I don't think you're boring at all. That's that's what I do. I'm just, I just, I'm, I think it's important to be what you are, and don't have any. I don't have any mystery. What you see is what you get with me. Yeah, I mean, there's no hidden side to me at all. If you come around for coffee, you'll know everything about me within twenty minutes. Yeah, I'm a bit like that. Um, if you had a dinner party, sorry, not dinner party, twenty-four minute Skype chat. Yeah. Who do you have it with? Well, I love Picasso. Got Picasso tattoos on my arm. Um, I really love his art. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I've got Picasso tattoos, and I really love Picasso's art. But he's not very good with women. But um, sure. I quite like to have a chat with him because he was one who said, "Be yourself and don't listen to other people, and don't worry about what other people think, and just." And I quite like Grayson Perry as well. He's pretty cool, mm. and his wife. Mm. So maybe I'll have the the, the, the Grayson Perry and Mrs. Perry around for. Yeah, I've totally forgotten her name. That's really bad. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So, anyway, so I have the Perrys <laughs> round for, for she's really uh, anyway. Anyway, the we'll Perrys and um, we'll Picasso. Perrys and yeah. Picasso. Yeah. Um what's one word you'd like people to describe you with? Um honest. Yeah. I'd like to be thought of as honest. Yeah. I hope I haven't got a hidden agenda. I haven't yeah. if I'm your friend, I'm your friend. And if I don't really if I you know, I don't phone you up, that's because I'm probably not your friend. Yeah. I am what you see. Honest, good way to be. Yeah. Um, would you mind taking a selfie for us? We can do that after. Um, what's your favourite Twitter handle or social media campaign? Well, don't, Twitter you're I don't do. It, you're on Insta, aren't you? Yeah, I don't get Twitter. It's not enough pictures on it for me. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so I don't really get that. Um, I'm, I'm a member of the Art Fair Buddies, which is on Facebook. And I really like that because it's just a load of artists and craftspeople who um, do art fairs. I do the odd one, not many, but I love an art they, fair. they um, talk about problems like how do you get a painting over to America mm. and how do you deal with tax and how do you deal with a client who does this and how do you do. And they're just a load of honest artists to give you a correct answer. And, and, and it's really nice to be part of a group that just sort of says what they think. And I, I respect their opinion. Definitely. So Art Fair Buddies on art Facebook. Buddies. Yeah. What's one quote that defined your work ethic? Um, I've written down one quote. Oh, you see, what you see is what you get. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's important. And the same with my paintings. What you see is what you get. Yeah. There's no hidden meaning. There's no underlying pretentiousness. Yeah. They're bright blue. They're lobsters. Love them or hate them. Yeah. What you see is what you get. Yeah. yeah. And what's been the best part of your day so far? Oh, today I finished off a lovely painting. It's an oil painting on oil painting paper. I spent years trying to find really nice oil painting paper and I found some. And this beautiful, beautiful grape tip was on the floor. I don't know how it got there. It died. It fell out of a nest. I live in the woods. I don't know. Anyway, I've been painting it all week. Uh, well, the real ones, I've thrown it out, but, yeah. you know, photos of it. And um, it started off in front of me. Um, and I've done this lovely painting of it, like a respectful homage to this dead great tip. And anyway, I've finished it today. Well, you've done it. Uh-huh. And that makes me very happy. I finished it. And I signed <laughs> it. I only signed when I finished and I signed it. So I feel chuffed that I finished it. Yeah. Funny, anything to plug? Oh, my website, easelandcanvas.co.uk. And I'm at the Bay Tree Centre between three and five on Saturday. Come along and say hello. I'll be painting fish. Okay. Go and say hello. Thank you very much for sharing. Thank that. you. That was fab. Thanks, everybody.